Welcome to another episode of Mr. J's Workshop. Uh, Happy New Year. Um, we're going to start off the new year with uh, some, uh, some tips and tricks on making a fixture or jig. Uh, we presently have a job in the shop that is for a stylus pen. Uh, basically these pens are used with your iPads or iPhones or, or your laptops as basically able to do either graphic designs or just typing. Uh, so with that said, let's get started. So fixtures, they don't have to be difficult. Uh, you can you can make any fixture out of a basic shape, either a square or a rectangle or circles uh, in most cases. Uh, so in our case, we're going to do like a rectangle and we're going to make this fixture here. And this is a tray fixture. This is what I call it. And what that means is I can actually load the pens onto the tray put it in the machine and as the machine is engraving I could start loading another tray and when that tray is done as I take the the tray out of the machine I could load a fresh tray in there bring the other tray to the table start cleaning them and packing them up and, and that that way there's no time lost uh, you, you're saving time while the machine's graving, you're doing something else to get the job done. This is very productive in the laser world. Uh, you don't want to be sitting there waiting for a job to get done when you could be doing something else. Uh, and that's what we focus on here in the shop is that when the machine's running, we're doing something else. If it's either working with my Corel Draw or cleaning or packing or uh, making labels for shipping, that's what I'm doing while the machine is engraving. So uh, it's important to have good fixturing jig for jobs that are uh, long running. So with that said, let's get started. In this video, I'm going to talk you through the whole process. Since many people don't really have a good idea of how to make a fixture or jig, and then I'm going to show you how to do it step by step. I think you will learn more by getting a good idea of where we are going before we do the step by step. But if you are in a big hurry and you want to see uh, the step by step portion, there's a time code in the description below so you can fast forward to the step by step process that you are looking to see. With no further delay, let's get right into it. So some of the things I recommend that you have around the shop is some MDF. So here in my shop, I always try to keep scrap pieces of MDF. This is quarter inch. I pretty much use this for all my jig and fixturing. Uh, it, it, it cuts very quickly and it's pretty accurate for location to repeat different patterns. Uh, so today's job is a stylus pen. So as I was showing you earlier, this tray here, uh, what I'm gonna do is find a piece of material that is gonna cut the floor of the tray and then the, the, the face plate of this, which will be your uh, stylus locator, uh, which will position your stylus to be accurate for engraving, will either glue or I, I use double stick tape, 3M tape, and I double stick the two pieces together uh, but what's important is that you laser cut the exterior of each part in order to get an accurate part to glue together or double stick together now that I have my two pieces glued together the the back side which is the floor of my tray and the locating side either glued or double stick together I can move on to the next step so what I do now is I go to my Corel Draw, and this is a secret. I use Print Preview and Print Merge to make my jig or fixture. Don't tell anybody. So what I, what I do first is uh, I don't draw all these uh, uh, rectangles. I don't draw them. 
uh, all of them. I just draw one. All right. So what we're going to do is for this job is just one rectangle. We're going to draw. Uh, it's going to be six and nine sixteenths wide uh, by 0.340 uh, tall. So we're just going to draw one rectangle in Corel Draw. Okay. Now that we have that rectangle. Uh, the page size has to be adjusted in order to give us the spacings in between all, all the locators. Okay. And the page size here is going to be seven and five sixteenths. And it's going to be 0.810 tall. So now I'm going to go into print preview. I'm going to go to my, uh, settings. And under uh, under uh, size of the work, I'm going to make uh, it seven and five sixteenths long by ten inches tall. That's actually my work area. All right. Once I have the work area, I go back to print preview, and I just uh, mark how many places I want laser cut which is 12 and and that's all I have to do uh, send it over to the machine and the machine cuts it out all right now that I have that I go back to my page in Corel and I add a print merge for the names and then I apply the names use uh, the same method as I did to cut the pockets instead of this time cutting pockets I'm going to be engraving the names and that's all I need to do now it's going to engrave uh, it's going to engrave all the names and I just keep on taking the uh, one fixture out after it's done put another fixture in until the job is done so that's my secret print preview and print merge are your best friend Let's get started. So we're going to set our page size now to 6 and 9 16, 6.562 and the height is going to be 0.340. We're going to click on our rectangle tool, double click, uh, click off the page and now we can set our page size to 7 and 5 16, that's 7.312 and the height is going to be 0.810. And this will give us the spacings we'll need for our rectangles for the fixture. So that, that looks pretty good there. The next step is go to the print preview. And now that we're in print preview, uh, we're going to adjust the page size to the fixture size. So settings, general, uh, go under our fusion, uh, settings under fusion. Uh, we're going to click center engraving. Now we're going to adjust our page size, which is going to be 7 and 5 sixteenths, 7.312. The height of the fixture is going to be 10 inches, 10, uh, 10.00. Uh, we're going to do vectoring. Our speed is going to be 4. Our power setting is going to be 100%. And our frequency is going to be 20. Now we can hit OK. Everything looks good. Hit OK again. And now we're going to put our amount of rectangles we're going to vector uh, on this page. So we're going to select 12 rectangles. Now we got our rectangles. It looks good here. And we all we have to do is say print. Send it over to the machine, and now we can start vectoring the, the rectangles for our pen location. Now moving on to the engraving. Go to File, Print Merge, and Create. First thing we're going to do is add a column, and we're going to call this Name. And add it. And now we need uh, 12 names to put here.
and say finish. We're gonna insert the, the column name and we're gonna center adjust this and then we'll hit P on our keyboard to center it. Uh, I'm gonna nudge it over to the left uh, just, uh, just for our preference where I want the name location to be. All right, we're gonna to merge to a new document. Now all our names are here on this document. I could close that merge box and go to file, print preview. I'm gonna add the 12 names now. That's 12. All right, we're gonna go to uh, settings, general, under the fusion settings, make sure our page, our fixture size is correct. We're gonna be doing rastering, uh, 600 DPI, 100% power, 50% feed and we're center engraving. So now we're gonna adjust for the fixture size, which is gonna be seven and 5 7.312 7 and 10 inches. All right, we're gonna say okay. Okay. And all we have to do now is say file, print, and start engraving this job. Well, I hope you found this uh, helpful or educational. Uh, if so, give us a like. Um, it was a fun project. Uh, if you want more information about this particular stylus fixture uh, or jig, uh, I'll leave some information below. Uh, with that said, I hope you have a better year. I'm looking forward to the new year and putting out some more educational tips for you guys. Uh, with that said, have a great day and Happy New Year.